So here we are in my studio again. Bob and Steve are being loud because they're on. So it's going to be loud and then it'll spontaneously not be loud. I'm Tree and this is Project Transparency. So, I'm being really bad about making videos. It's even worse because I actually have two booktube videos that I haven't edited yet that I need to edit. So, we are back at that stage of things again. Stuff to know! I should be putting stuff up on my Store Envy and my Etsy here, like, soon because I finally got my inventory back from the art garage from the holiday show because we are a class act operation and I am also running a giveaway over on my tumblr there's a link in the drawer with the information so that might be a thing to do you get two of my sketch a day drawings that I do with Copic marker and ink one of my NerdCon exclusive uh, Plague Doctor prints, 10 of uh, my fandom buttons, and a fungoid owlet. Um, so yes, these are the things that preceded the pocket friends. So yeah, and they were limited edition sort of thing. I never made more than, I would say I got to 44 out of 100. I always intended to make 100, I got to 44. I think. And there only are a few that still exist with me. There's like eight. And only this one and one other one go out into the world anymore. The other ones are kind of malformed. Except for one that's actually mine. I kept it for me. In, you know, I make things studio news. I've been spending a lot of time with Encaustic which I keep talking about it being like enameling, instant gratification enameling without, you know, the melted glass. And you know, that's probably an oversimplistic idea of the thing, but yes. So this is an encaustic I finished last week. It's just on a little round canvas because I figured it had enough backing to, to constitute um, an encaustic board without actually being a board, plus I have a bunch of these circular canvases that I need to, you know, get done with. But look at all that thickness and texture, and it's kind of wild, right? And it's all like melted beeswax, and it's wild. I really, really enjoy doing it. I'm actually going to order myself some cold wax some real cold wax versus the stuff that I, I was fucking around with. Versus the stuff I was messing around with. And do some cold wax paintings also. So yes, more wax painting in my future. Stay tuned. I'm also working on a piece that's behind me that isn't really going any of the places that I want it to go, but you know, it, it, it'll, it'll be a thing. I, I don't think it's going to be done for the next quarter show, which starts the beginning of February at the Art Garage. So what I'm thinking is to do like a wall, like an Andy Warhol-esque like wall display of the sketches I've been doing on the Bristol board. It's I, I say Andy Warhol-esque not because it's a multiple or. Um, a multiple or a print, but because of kind of the form and structure of the grid. Because, you know, us artists, we like to rediscover the grid every 20 years. Other things that I've been doing, I did my first stint as an artist model last night. Three hours of sitting very, very, very still and trying not to laugh inappropriately or get really distracted by people moving around, which is really hard for me. Um, it was in 20, 25 minute bits and then five minutes up except in the middle where there was a 15 minute break so that I could like actually move for a while. So basically I would sit and put my limbs to sleep and then get up and stretch for five minutes and then do it again. It, I 
liked it. I really did like it. I got to the point where I knew exactly how to situate my body so that I was reproducing the pose that they wanted with very, very minimal redirection. So yeah, it, it, it was fun. I wouldn't mind doing it again. I might end up doing it again. Um, I probably won't know until like Friday or, you know, whatever. Uh, they don't know if they have another model to come in and do the modeling thing. But the entire class that I was like just stone still. So yay me. So in my calendar things that are coming up, gallery night is in April I want to say, which is quite far way off. Um, we have another one of these like mystery artist nights at the Art Garage. I think in February. I think, I'm trying to remember what Kim like sent me in the thing, and I don't. <sighs> Which, I missed the first one, so I have no idea how it went, because I had a migraine. Always fun. But I also have Minneapolis Comic Con coming up in May. So that that, that is coming. And I need to look at the Broadway market in Green Bay for the summer and definitely to Pier because I am just determined that definitely to Pier will eventually actually be worth the gas to get to it. I will be putting together a calendar of things on my website so that if you want to find me for some reason, you may. I, I do try and update through this. And um, reminder that I'm doing the Pop Sugar 2016 reading challenge, and I have an entire page set up for that on my on my website. And the Rainbow Hub, which I used to be the deputy editor of up until like May of last year, breathed its last breath last week. So I'll be putting up my articles that were on the Rainbow Hub on my own website. Soon, it's going to be a while because it th there was a lot of articles I wrote. I mean, like, a lot, a lot of articles. So it's going to take me time. Yay. Alright, so I have to go do things like edit video and do drawings because of the modeling yesterday and the hour and a half drive home in awful, awful, awful snow last night. I did not actually get my sketch done yesterday, so I have two to do today. I've already done the, the photographs for that I missed. So I have, I need to go work on that stuff and edit video, and <clears throat> remember, if you enjoy these things, which why wouldn't you, really, why not, to like, subscribe, comment. I enjoy comments. If you would like to support me and my uh, endeavors, I have a Patreon, which is also in the link. Or if you would prefer to have something immediate, a one-off, and, you know, product, I also have my Redbubble and my Store Envy and Etsy, which has nothing in it as usual, down in the drawer. Though, depending on what you pledge at Patreon, there is swag levels. So that's always an option, too. Just, you know, help out the, 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 the artists of the world. <laughs> and in the future, and I'm thinking I'm going to do this in March, I'm going to rerun my Kickstarter for uh, to publish my my first illustration book so that will be coming all the things so yes things and bye really see I can just sit here and do the thing and stare at things it's wild bye